hey guys abhishek here and welcome back to another video in this one we are talking about tmux um, and i'll try and show you my configs and all of the different plugins we have and um, all the cool things you can do with it uh, and by the way this is tmux 2k uh, one of the plugins that will be going through but yeah for now let's jump into the terminal um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my dot files repo and for that I'm going to be using the t command which is coming from tmuxt and as soon as I do t dot it actually takes me to my dot files repo and starts a session with the same name so yeah let's open the tmux config um, and yeah it's pretty straightforward I'm not doing anything crazy but let's just quickly go through this uh, first thing I'm doing is setting up some colors. Next, I'm updating the prefix to Control A instead of Control B, which I find uh, easier to hit. And also, I think it's it's at this point standard uh, for most of the community. Then I have a quick keyboard shortcut to reload my configs. If I do prefix R, you can see it reloads my configs. Uh, then I'm doing a change for reducing delay and then we are setting the base indexes to 1 so by default tmux starts at 0 but I found find that a bit confusing so I use 1 for both windows and panes um, then we also have some configs that whenever we open a new session or a new pane it will open in the same directory so this takes care of that uh, we have some configs to quickly help us switch between windows so prefix uh, hjkl to move between pins um, we have same thing but for uh, resizing so instead of hjkl we use shift plus hjkl then we have something called synchronize pins which is a tmux command that is handy sometimes if you want to um, fix the layout of your tmux windows um, then I have the clear key binding uh, so I use control L uh, sometimes and if you just try hit control L it won't work with tmux because uh, I use it for some key bindings uh, so what you can do is you can hit control A and then hit control L so this takes care of that uh, then I'm enabling mouse we are adding some Y mode key bindings to help us copy things easier setting the border over here and then some more styling stuff uh, we are increasing the history limit although I feel at this point I should increase this um, on longer SSH sessions uh, even this uh, falls short um, and yeah, then I have this automatic rename uh, window title config which as soon as I move to a program it actually takes on the name of that so as you can see right now it says ZSH now if I open LazyGate it will automatically rename it so it's pretty handy and I'm also setting how I want to rename things so you can see this is how I'm setting my title and all of the info you can actually find in, in the man page so it's pretty um, helpful then i'm adding some configs for uh, interoperability between vim neovim slash and tmux so let's say if i had a tmux window i could uh, easily jump back and forth between them so this takes care of that and then finally we come to our plugins so the first one we have is tpm uh, which is of course the tmux plugin manager uh, you can install plugins without this as well by manually cloning it uh, cloning your repos or cloning your plugins uh, but i just prefer to use tpm then we have tmux sensible uh, it gives you a bunch of handy uh, defaults uh, which which improves the tmux experience not really a lot to talk about here next we have tmux menus which is kind of interesting 
and what it lets you do is it lets you open these menus so let's say if you have forgotten a key binding or if you don't know how to do some particular thing right you can actually use this uh, so let's say i wanted to move this pane to the next window right i do handling panes move pane uh, and then i can move it to switch to the move to other window and i can move it over here right so as you can see now both the panes are part of the second window and it has a bunch of configs um, i don't use it a ton but sometimes when i can't remember the key bindings this helps out and yeah it's pretty cool to have as well okay uh, next we have extract to this is something that i really like um, and what it lets you do is pretty nice so let's say uh, if i am typing something over here right on my terminal uh, and for some reason i wanted to get the plugin name lactex slash extract to normally what i would have to do i would jump back here i would do y in this and then jump back here and then i would paste it right but what extract to lets you do it simply if i do prefix f it opens this nice fuzzy searchable window where basically all of the text uh, across your buffers is present so now if i type extract to uh, it actually shows me that this text and i can just hit tab to insert it um, so yeah that's the entire purpose of extracto it lets you grab text from uh, across your tmux pins and I, I really really like it it's, it's pretty useful all right uh, next we are talking about tmux 2k which is this particular uh, tmux status bar plugin um, and you can go through the readme i recently updated uh, this with all of the different configuration options um, but yeah what it basically is it's like a framework for your tmux status bar and it uh, helps you build out these cool little segments uh, and also customize them so what you see at the bottom here the git window uh, the git section cpu usage ram uh, my current windows battery network and so on all of these actually come from tmux 2k uh, battery is not visible because right now i'm on a mini which doesn't really have a battery uh, but yeah that's tmux 2k and you can actually very easily add things to tmux 2k so let's see if you want to build out a new uh, segment or section right all you have to do is come to the folder where you have all of the scripts and simply add it here so let's say if i wanted to add something called a plugin called foo i would just create a foo.sh and all it needs to do is echo out some sort of information so as you can see this is what we are echoing out for battery um, and that will simply be added here uh, and then this is where uh, you can customize all of the colors and stuff um, and you can also change things so let's say right now i have these particular uh, configs right sections on my tmux status bar so let's say if i went to tmux 2k and let's say i did not want to see cp usage right i could just delete it hit save do a quick reload and cpu is gone um, you can also do a ton more uh, customizations with tmux 2k uh, you can customize individual colors of these segments so uh, let's say i wanted to make this red all i would need to do is just to set g tmux 2k and let's say i want to make ram red so to color um i would do red and then text 
now if I hit save I'll have to do a reload uh, let me quickly check Let me go to Tmux 2K and then let me open the main script. Uh, I just don't change things a lot here and I'm happy with the defaults but let me see. So we want for RAM uh, and what we want to do, okay it's colors I think so. Yeah, I added color so let's fix that colors and now let's try hitting reload and as you can see it's now red uh, but yeah if you go to the readme I have covered things uh, I also add what are the default colors and how you can actually change these default colors so yeah there's a ton of customizations you can do with it um, and in a future video I might show you how to I might write some plugins uh, and, and record a video but yeah that's that's tmux 2k also there's two open issues uh, one is for windows compatibility right now it doesn't have all of the features on windows and then there's one for theming support uh, so you can if you want to contribute do take a look all right uh, so that's enough about tmux 2k let's take a look at the next plugin so after tmux 2k we have tmux style it let me quickly go ahead and undo these do a quick refresh uh, and yeah sometimes as you can see uh, if you want to update the colors and stuff you might have to close tmux and start again uh, but yeah for now let's leave it as it is uh, okay so the next plugin is tmux stylet which is a very handy keyboard shortcut plugin uh, let, let me see yeah here it is so this is tmux stylet and what it basically gives you it's like a tiling window manager but for the your team hooks right it adds a bunch of handy configs handy key bindings and i have documented all of them down here um some of my most favorite ones are all plus enter to open up a new session uh, which is like super plus enter in a, in a classical window manager then i have or plus pipe to open a right split or plus hyphen to open a bottom split um, i can do or plus g to open lazy gate in a floating window i can do or plus t to open a floating terminal uh, i also have notes integration so if i hit or plus a uh, it will show me my to do's uh, and i can quickly jump to them from here and then close stuff and that comes from uh, tdo dot uh, tdo dot sh uh, one of my repos uh, that I use for note taking I can easily move pins around uh, I also have ways of let's say if I have multiple pins open I can actually switch between them uh, very easily uh, so I can just do alt plus hjkl yeah and it uh, kind of cycles between them um, and yeah it, it basically adds a ton of configuration uh, key bindings that you can use um, and there's also one more thing that is d menu so let's say uh, if i hit alt d it opens this fuzzy search oh it's, i don't think i have d menu installed over here but what it lets you do uh, it will open up a d menu instance uh, with fzf and you can select whatever binary you want to run and you can run that okay so that was tmux tilet and then finally we have tmux t 
uh, which we already looked at which which helped me start up this session uh, but let's open it one more time so this is my tmux t preview so let's say i wanted to look at my nvim configs i do nvim 2k it immediately jumps there opens up nvim um, and i you can actually customize how uh, you want to use this so i have i'm using tmux uh, with tmux senator integration and t takes care of all of that so if you see if i can show you my tmux senator configs uh, yeah so this is the tmux senator config for nvim 2k and as you can see it simply goes to that directory and opens up nvim names the session new vim so this is really handy for work stuff uh, when i have to run like uh, my code base uh, my editor uh, i have to run servers git and stuff so this helps me kind of automate things uh, and then another nice thing about tmux is you can quickly switch between sessions so uh, if i just do control d i can very quickly jump between them and it also shows me nice previews uh, like so uh, and this is inspired by JAWS and Primogen, so they both had uh, variants of this. So I, I just wanted something that I could customize, so that's why I wrote TMXT. And I'm also planning to add better previews. Uh, I think DevOps Toolbox, they created, he created one called uh, TMUX Session X. So I am planning to take a look at that code base and uh, it has really nice preview features. So I might add that into TMXT as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all here. I have a bunch of plugin configs and then finally this is how I install um, TPM and yeah, then that's it uh, for this one. I just wanted to record a quick one going over all of the tmux stuff and yeah do keep an eye out on these repos if you are interested uh, you can find my main tmux configs in dot files uh, in my main dot stuk repo so let me go to that yeah so you'll find it in config um, and here we have tmux conf so this is the main tmux configuration and then within that you'll find uh, how to install all of these plugins and uh, urls as well i'll also include them in the description but yeah that was all for this um, and if you have any feedback let me know in the comments and Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.